The campaign for Wool was the brainchild two years ago for the Prince of Wales. He recognised that Wool was suddenly under tremendous pressure. And so the Prince of Wales called together a whole group, very disparate group of people, and the campaign for Wool. The truth is that there hadn't been as much coverage or awareness of wool as there should have been because people became rather obsessed by all the new synthetic um, fibres uh, that had come onto the market. Since we started the campaign, the amount of coverage for wool has grown at times about four, with all the magazines and newspapers and blogs getting behind wool in a way that they never did before. And this is one of the key things to get the message across, that wool is natural and sustainable and biodegradable and renewable and all the buzzwords that we want. This year there are over 200 companies taking part in Wool Week. Harvey Nichols were one of the first three companies right at the very beginning two years ago to commit to backing the campaign for Wool. Typically generous and imaginative of them to do so. Thank you too to the designers of these woolen handbags. They are Alexander McQueen, Anya Heinmarch, Smithsons, Burberry, Christian Louboutin, Sang A, Quentin McKay, and the great Vivian Westwood. For a month, these handbags are on show here at Harvey Nichols. And then from the 20th to the 30th of September, um, you can bid for them on eBay, on ebay.co.uk forward slash Harvey Nichols Wool. What could be a simpler <laughs> URL than that? <laughs> um, the proceeds from this hotly contested one-off unique handbags will go to the Prince of Wales's Countryside Fund. I think moving forward, what we have to do is get the message out there in a non-worthy way. And I think the way we approach that is, is by promoting style and almost reintroducing a new audience to the benefits and the luxury of talk. Well, the jumper I'm wearing today is by an old friend of mine. It's the lovely John Washer. Mm -hmm. And this jumper was made using sheep in the ocean. Both in the winter, keeps you cosy. In the summer, keeps you airy. And actually, it's a real treat to wear. It's literally naturally grown. I think it's definitely made more of a public prominence. I mean, within the industry, you know, I don't think necessarily wool needs shouting about. I think we're very aware of it. But from a public perspective, I think it's really good to you know have lots of activities where you know engage in their interests and really you know uh, just raising a consciousness for you know, for the material, how it's produced, how it should be produced. Richmond and I've worked with Harvey Nichols and Wool Week to create this egg installation to display the 12 handbags designed by very famous designers. The starting point for this installation was the handbags that we wanted to display in a really interesting way um, and we wanted something that tied in with the surrealist theme of the store so we looked at Dali and he uses eggs a lot and just developed the idea and it came from there. My favourite bag from the collection is the McQueen bag because it doesn't look like wool and it's really surprising when you pick it up and it's suddenly woolly. <laughs> so today we've had the launch at Harvey Nichols and it's been wonderful seeing all the fabulous people turning out from Nicholas Coleridge to Erin O'Connor and the support for wool seems to be gathering and we wish it best of luck for the future.